So I just did a video on how to open up cards. The probable best way, if you care about the condition, which is slicing the tops off rather than trying to pull. Because when you do the pull, when you tug at the top, you're risking the corners to get stress damage through the pressure of the pack being forced open. But if you just cut it and you pour it out, they don't have any pressure on these parts. Because imagine my fingers being the wrapper and then the force is just gonna go like this. These, by the way, I mean, these are common ones. But So this is my thing. They talk about these 2024 spook uh, score a treat i think they did this for football and basketball as well as i think a pokemon one and people are saying the cardstock is thinner it's a nice release overall i got a bunch of comments here but i will say this if you cut the tops off it's quicker because they're pretty tight i mean i can't even they don't even pour out so you could cut it out you could just stick your finger in here you could even go as far as doing what you do from there. You could just crack it open a little bit. And then you have the cards. Then you have your sleeves ready, your card protectors. Because I feel there's going to be some good cards of the rookies from football. Basketball has Wembenyama's rookie, I believe. And because these are so thin and People don't really take care of them. It's like a lot of 90s uh, junk wax era stuff. These are the very cards that if you have them in high grade, the survival rate of these cards, even though it's mass produced, will be the only chance you're gonna see of making money on these types of cards. So these right here, I got a bunch of junk cards here. There's not a single one I care about, except this guy, Johnny um, Wilson, is a rookie, but I really don't care about him. I don't even know who he is. I play fantasy football and that's how I remember who's good or bad. So what I end up doing is I take these two cards and I laminate them and make bookmarks out of them. But they have to be relevant cards of players. And then we donate them to the library or to the school or sell them at our craft fair. Made, our craft fair it's called. So a lot of these junk cards, I'm actually looking for junk cards. So I, I give them to my son and he's... May we make bookmarks together for the kids, and they love them, and they cost us next to nothing, and we can sell them for like something like this, we can sell for a dollar, and so the comments are worth what, a nickel or less or a dime, or people don't even want them. So it turns into repurpose, although it'd be good. It gets uncirculated or eliminated from the collector's market once you laminate them, because nobody wants a laminated card. But these are proven worthless cards. I mean, Vinny Tistaverde, all these guys, and this Rising Stars, got two of them. Javon Baker and Johnny Wilson in orange and green. I'll look these up before I totally um, destroy them. But I have, a, I have a chance of high odds are they have better rookie cards. These are plentiful. And maybe kids will find them exciting. And we can uh, do that so. This is more to talk talking about how to open packs in a longer version than my one minute short. The reason why to do it the way I do it, cutting the tops off, and it's not just for this brand, it's for anything. Because you see all these guys, you know, they're, they're like trying to do that. And you can imagine all of the, uh, all the splitting, all this, uh, uh, of the wrapper produces all this corner damage because you're tugging, you're continually pressing. It might not hurt the cards, but it could hurt the cards, so why not do it my way, which is cut the, the top and pour it out, or even just create a little bit of a opening and pull them out. Then there's never any pressure at all on the four corners to tug it back and forth. I mean, you know, these things, are, the difference between a black label 10, a 10 versus a 9.5 or a 9, is the difference in handling the cards. 
and having your supplies ready to put them away right away, either in archival or submission form. So if you know you can keep it for personal collection, do this. And if you're going to send it to submit for grading, use this with the um, penny sleeves. So that is my pure advice on other people's um, pack breaking videos. I'll often comment, hey dude, you should really um, learn how to open them. The best way you want to keep them in the best condition because it's faster than tugging by just snipping like that. I mean, how, how quick is that? It's a clean cut. You're not going to cut the cards because you're going to, you know, they're going to be at the bottom and there's enough room. And then there you go. And then you open it and you take it out. It's not that hard. So that's my advice for opening packs.